Minnesota Fighting Vikings obviously were in the market to replace uh, defensive tackle Michael Pierce after he opted out of COVID-19 as they tried to trade for P.J. Hall. Not so much. Uh, so now, now that free agents are, are free to visit uh, various teams, NFL lifted that restriction. It's like maybe Vikings will sign Snacks Harrison, but if they don't, if they decide to go younger, if they decide to go markedly cheaper, uh, I, I think uh, even though they you know, they definitely are in, in the market for some defensive line help, I think they should fire up Trey Machine 3000 and make a play for Jets backup nose tackle Fuloronso Fadukasi. Nailed it. <clears throat> Talk about him today. All right, so background. Full of run so. Uh, 25 years old, 6'4", 318 pounds, 2018, six-round pick out of UConn. Woo, let's go. Uh, he got to UConn. Uh, 2014, uh, right after Shamar Stefan left, uh, was a 2014 seventh round pick by the Vikings. Actually re- replaced him right? and actually did better than him. 170 tackles, 15 sacks, 21 tackles for loss, over 48 games in stores, Connecticut. I think I nailed it. Now, it is important to note, so he is not a Joe Douglas pick who took over uh, as GM of the Jets last year. So he's not as emotionally attached as some GMs like, hey, that's the guy I picked. That's my pet project. I ain't going to cut him. In fact, he will stay on this roster even far past his expiration date just because I'm so stubborn, just because I want to prove him right. Yeah, uh, but also uh, the Jets do have longtime solid veteran Steve McClendon uh, at that nose tackle spot. He is 34, uh, but he has been uh, absorbing the the bulk of the nose tackle work. Uh, and so, uh, Fuloronso mm, nailed it. Uh, played like five snaps as a rookie. He basically, just had a redshirt year. 2019. So that's when Adam Gates as well as douchebag Greg Williams came in, and then he started to shine. Right, Fuloronso. Played 390 snaps last year, uh, subbing in for a McClendon as well as getting some five tech work, and he was damn fine against the run. Like that is the most appealing part of his game. Uh, put up an 87.6 PFF grade versus the run, uh, fifth best in the NFL, as well as uh, he put up 27 tackles, uh, 15 run stops, and seven tackles for loss. And he's exactly what the Vikings are, are looking for to replace Pierce in the interim. Uh, so just that two down run stuffing, absorbing bodies in, in the middle type guy that frankly the Vikings don't have on the rooster uh, with Pierce being out. And it, it's a fine trade off because you're not going to get much uh, out of Fuller Runso uh, as a pass rusher. Uh, he only has six uh, total pressures and one sack on 184 pass rush, uh, pass rushing reps last season. 3.3% pressure rate, which is not great. But also, notably, it is better than Shamar Stefan's 1.8% uh, rate, which is just... Okay, sure. And, and although he is a little bit more like Shamar Stefan, especially in body composition as opposed to Michael Pierce as well, uh, but he is younger, he is cheaper, and he is better against the run. I mean, uh, basically, if you wanted to uh, draw the parallels between Shamar Stefan, similar uh, body type, similar size, similar, uh, similar university... Go, go Huskies. Um, he, he's younger, cheaper, and better against the run. I mean, we can do that, right? Now for the trade. What would you give up? So two avenues I would go down. One, players for player, other as a draft pick. So the player for players uh, would be Chad Beebe and Jalen Holmes for uh, Futukasi. Just do that up. So Chad Beebe, you know, Jets are looking for some wide receiver help. I mean, if you look at the Jets depth chart of wide receiver, Ain't great. I think Chad Beebe is a huge underdog uh, to make the Vikings roster. I think they're pretty solid uh, one through five. Uh, so Beebe could go to the Jets. He could be their new Wayne Corbett, as well as uh, the Jets know, uh, being in the uh, AFC East, uh, the power of the Beebe, since they got had to go uh, up against uh, Don Beebe, special teams dynamo for the Bills for uh, twice a year for a number of seasons. So Beebe goes there. He's the new great white hope. He's the new Wayne Corbett. He's new uh, this and that. And then Jalen Holmes. Frankly, I think Jalen Holmes, uh, it hasn't worked out here over two seasons. I think a change of scenery may actually help him out. So, uh, also, he could go to the Jets and primarily work as a five-tech, as a 3-4 defensive end. Frankly, I think that might be Holmes' uh, best and natural position. And then working as a backup with 2018 third-round pick Nathan Shepard, who I love coming out of Fort Hayes State, uh, behind Quinton Williams and Harry Anderson. It, it, this actually might be a win-win-win all the way around. But if you want to go the draft pick route, then... Fifth round pick, throw it out there. Vikings uh, spread around fifth round picks like candy. It's like, oh, Kari Vedvik, hey, the kicker puncher who can't kick or punt. Here you go, Ravens, take it all. Uh, ironically, the Vikings do have the Ravens fifth round pick for 2021, so it, it would be uh, it would be a little bit easier shipping that one to the Jets, as well as 
Uh, yeah, it, it, it would be so typical. The Vikings and the Jets, the dumbest rivalry in sports history. The Vikings sent a fifth rounder uh, for a backup nose tackle. Then the Ravens sent a fifth rounder uh, to Jacksonville for Calais Campbell. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, honestly, that trade should be investigated. That Collusion. Illusion. That is all. But uh, e- either way, I-, I think that the Vikings would greatly benefit here, either from the players who probably aren't going to make the team and may not even make the practice squad uh, or even giving up the fifth round pick, even though prying late uh, day three picks from Spielman is like pulling teeth. But uh, bring in a backup nose tackle like Fuller Runso, uh, Fadu Kasi, uh, I think would be a huge asset for the Vikings uh, going forward. And Work things out. So there you go. Are right, your thoughts? Uh, Minnesota find Vikings training for Jets backup nose tackle for Lorenzo Feducasi. Nailed it. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings tanks. If you want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.